morning. Such a weird place to be because we're just across the Utah state line. So my watch says 6.56 in the morning, which is a good time to wake up. But then my phone says 7.56. So the sun's been up for about an hour or so. And I don't really know what time it is because we're just across the state line. So anyway, we're gonna go have a great day today. What's going on back there? <laughs> she getting kisses? Yeah. Puppy kisses. So it doesn't matter what time it is, it just matters that the sun is up. So I'm gonna go take the dog for a walk. Do you wanna go for a walk? She does. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll come back and we'll do some work and we'll play today. I'm gonna take the kayak out, I think. We are at Lake Powell on Lone Rock Beach and we're gonna go take the kayak out. We just got back from kayaking uh, around Lake Powell and Chris is out teaching Everest how to, how to uh, paddleboard. Our neighbor that we made friends with uh, camping next to us has a paddleboard and he just hopped on it. Everest learning how to paddleboard. <laughs> Uh, someone whose van got stuck in the deep sand over here and Chris grabbed our traction pads and we're gonna take them over and try to help get them out. Yeah, he's stuck good. Oh, he's got a winch. He's in the Jeep.
You're not budging. Are we getting deeper? Yeah, no. But yeah, you're moving a little bit. But you're going in. Yeah, you're going in. You're going deeper. His mm -mm. Yep, you're moving. I got a neutral. Neutral. What? Put it in neutral. I think he said neutral. Neutral. He said. Put the van in neutral. It is. Okay, you're out, but it's going to be hard getting it away from here. Yeah. But you're finally on hard. You're not sinking in. Woo! <laughs> That's deep. Well, that was fun. We absolutely loved our time camping here at Lake Powell at Lone Rock Beach. We know you'll enjoy it too. For us, the biggest thing, it wasn't about the beautiful scenery. It wasn't about getting to play with our water toys, splash around with the dog. I mean, it was partly that, but really for us, it was a community that we built while we were here. Uh, we had great friendships that we made with our neighbors all throughout the week that we were here. Four or five different families that we were able to engage with and hang out and just really enjoy life and sharing our story and learning their stories and so um, it's tough leaving just for that because we've had to say farewell to yeah, quite a few really people. Yeah, it's really hard leaving. Yeah. It, <laughs> it's been the last couple of days that we've been here everybody else were the ones doing the leaving and we would get sad and then somebody else showed up and we went over and started up a conversation and made new friends and so we really want to encourage you wherever you are wherever you camp to look at life that way. Just yes. say hello to your neighbor. It's, it's a simple thing and strike up a conversation. They may not speak your language. It doesn't really matter. Just be friendly. And you don't, go have, you don't have to go out and pull people out of the sand. You don't have to do anything big. But just say hello because you'd be surprised you know, what you're able to uh, have in common and how you're able to, to spend this time together and the value that it adds when you're camping, particularly at a beautiful place like this. So it's another night, another fire, another great uh, family, friends that we've made, and another night I get to eat hot dogs. Don't tell Lindsay. I'm gonna eat hot dogs again because it's a campfire. You get to eat hot dogs at a campfire. But don't tell Lindsay. Let's go do this. What does that do? So it's videoing you? Yeah, it's videoing. <laughs> You're now part of YouTube. Really? Um, my favorite part about being here, I think, was definitely uh, meeting the families that we met. And also the kayaking was fun, but uh, I definitely enjoyed uh, the people that we met and got to know. Um, I mean, boondocking in the middle of nowhere by yourself is great sometimes um, but I think even better meeting people is just like so much better yeah than that uh, we we believe that life is about relationship and we do enjoy those times where we get to boondock in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. but recently we've had amazing experiences boondocking 
around other people. Like in the Grand Tetons, we made friends with an amazing view. Mm -hmm. And we could have been there selfishly and been upset. Oh man, somebody's in this spot. It's the best view of the Grand Tetons. But then we started talking to our neighbor and we found out really cool stuff about them. And we may actually be able to meet up in Baja. So it's one of those That'd things like, I mean, you're right, you're right on. Relationship is important. And you know, it take a couple of days to get off into the woods. We do that. We go disappear for a couple of days here or there. But know that when you pop back into civilization, there's somebody waiting to talk to you. And you'll never know who they are unless you strike up a conversation. It's definitely not that crow behind me. <laughs> that crow is not somebody I want to talk to. In fact, if Everest wasn't in the truck right now, I might send her to go on crow removal duty. Yeah. <laughs> We're about to go jet ski to some sand dunes. top of the sand dune. Yep, I might not make it. And then I may push her down. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> no. Game game time decision. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is kicking kicking my butt. Poor Lindsay. Don't give up, babe. If you don't get up here, when I start rolling down, I'm gonna take you out. That's awesome. What a what a trip. 